Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I am going to show you how to interface a PIC 16 f 877 a microcontroller with an LM35 temperature sensor. I will be using Proteus as a demonstration software and I will be using MicroC for PIC for programming. So let's get started. This is our PIC 16 f 877 a having 40 pins. It's a DIP version. This is our LM35 sensor having 3 pins. If you hold LM35 like this in a way that English written on it starts from left like L is on the left LM35 in the center line it is written LM35 but L is on the left then the leftmost pin is the VCC pin centermost is the analog output and the right one is the ground pin now let me show you how to connect it to the pick you connect VCC pin directly with the VCC pin of the pick both will get 5 volt but if your pick is running at a different voltage then you can give it an external 5 volt depending upon the scenario now the center pin is an ADC pin. You can use any available D ADC pin of the PIC. For this, I'm using A0. Ground pin will go to the common ground pin of the PIC 16 fa 7 a Now to display the output in Celsius, I'm going to use an L LCD LM016. To connect this LCD with the PIC, we need a potentiometer, a 3-pin 10 kilo ohm variable potentiometer, which will be used to adjust the contrast of the LCD. This potentiometer has 3 pins, 1, 2, and 3. And this LCD has 16 pins. If you hold it like this from left to right, it's 1 to 16. Now guys, let me show you how to connect it with a pick. Pin number 1 and 5 of the LCD will go to the common ground of the pick along with pin number 1 of the potentiometer. And pin number 2 of the potentiometer, that is the adjustable pin, will go to pin number 3 of the LCD. Now pin number 2 of the LCD will go to the common VCC pin of the pick and along with pin number 3 of the potentiometer this will also go to VCC pin of the PIC in this way potentiometer gets 5 volt and LCD gets 5 volt now pin number 4 of the LCD is the RS pin you can use any available digital input output pin of the PIC 16 fa 7 a for this I am using pin number C0 that is pin number 15 for enable I am using C1 pin 16 for pin number 11 that is D4 of the LCD I am using C2 pin number 17 for D5 C3, for D6, D0 and for D7, data pin 7, I am using pin number 20 of the PIC 16 fa 7 a Now this LCD as told you earlier has a backlight. So pin number 15 will go to 5 volt pin of the PIC and 16 will go to ground. This will un turn on the backlight of the LCD. If you do not connect these two pins 15 and 16, still your LCD will work. But it will have no backlight. So if you want it to work with a backlight, you have to connect these two pins. 15 is a 5 volt and 16 is a ground now this 7 8 9 and 10 pin are for 8 bit mode while we are using 4 bit mode of this lcd now let's let me tell you what will happen when i will program this when it when the pick will get programmed it will receive data from the lm35 sensor it will perform the adc conversions and then it will display the result in celsius on the screen so guys let's get to our proteus demonstration and micro c for pick programming so this is our proteus software click on isis uh, let me zoom it in you click on this in the devices click on pick devices right pick 16 fa 7 a you get this place it anywhere on the screen now go back to the devices pick lm35 here we go place it anywhere you want i'm placing it here now go back to the devices and pick LM016 that is our LCD 16 cross 2 alphanumeric LCD. Place it anywhere you want. I am placing it here. Now you go back to devices and pick a variable resistor to adjust the contrast of the LCD. Here you go. Use this select this 10 kilo ohm one. So you place it here. Now let's do the wiring on the Proteus. First of all as told you earlier we will need a power and a ground you go to terminals from here you get this power and place it above the circuit here and now you select a ground you need to place it below the circuit to power and ground the devices as needed now as showed, shown you in the presentation pin number one of the lm35 will go to the 5 volt supply that is this power and pin number two is an analog output pin I am using pin number A0 in the programming, so I connect it to channel A0. 3 is the ground, you will simply send it to the ground, like this. Now on the right side we have this LCD, 
so first of all pin number 1 and 5 of the lcd are shorted and then they go to the common ground as shown in the presentation also pin number 1 of the variable resistor goes to the ground like this now pin number 2 of the lcd and pin number 1 of you can say oh sorry 3 of your potentiometer go to 5 volt power like this and pin number 2 will also go to 5 volt power to give 5 volt to the LCD so we give it like this so pin number 3 and pin number 2 of the LCD of the potential 3 of the potentiometer and 2 of the LCD will go to 5 volt supply or main supply now the center pin that is pin number 2 will go to pin number 3 of the LCD that is the adjustable pin now you can adjust the contrast now these are our data pins pin number 4 that is RS we send it to pin number C0 that is here and pin number 6 which is EN pin will go to C1 as shown in the presentation here and pin number D0, D1, D2, D3 we left leave them and we go to directly to D4 and D4 will go to C2 and C2 pin is pin number 17 here and C3 is our pin number D5 of the LCD goes here D6 will go to D0 here and D7 will go to D1 it goes here now since it's a simulation software so you do not see any you can say 15 and 16 pin that is LCD backlight pins but in reality you have to connect it to the hardware as shown in the presentation now let's do the programming let's zoom it out let's go to our micro c4 pick so make a new project i zoom it in i'm using version 5.6.1 you can use the same version or you can use the better versions depends upon you click on file new project write the name of your project learning lm35 learning microcontrollers one i'm using pic 16 f 877 a crystal is 16 megahertz click on next next and finish now first of all we initialize our lcd for that go to right side here you have this library manager in this you click on lcd there you have lcd init double click you get this lcd init you go to the bottom in the example you have these commands you copy it till here above these three dot copy it place it above the void main like this now as we have defined our you can say pinout settings in the hardware we do it here rs pin is our c0 as shown in the uh, proteus and also in the presentation en pin is a c1 d7 pin is a d1 d6 d0 d5 c3 and d4 c2 same will go here that is pin direction that's pin out setting so for pin direction do the same RS is C0, C1, D1, D0, D5 is C3 and D4 is C2. In this way our LCD pins are defined. Now initialize the LCD using this command LCD INIT. Okay, LCD initial give some initialization delay. 500 will be enough. Now initialize the ADC module like this give some initialization delay because we are going to need some ADC pins so we need to initialize all the ADC pins in this way now before we do anything else we do not need the cursor of the LCD to display the output we remove the cursor go to library manager there you have LCD CMU double click in the example you have this command clear LCD screen you copy it paste it here now go back again we do not need to clear the LCD we simply need to remove the cursor for that in the available LCD command table you have this turn off cursor. You copy this, place it inside the brackets like this and now give some initialization delay like 100 millisecond will be enough. Now again go back. We also clear the screen for, for you can say in case if there are any rack backed values before we go to forever loop you place it here that is LCD CMD clear screen give some initialization delay okay 
LCD is initialized, ADC pins are initialized, LCD is now cursor free and LCD is also cleared. Now write the forever loop. While one, here you go, forever loop starts here and ends here. Now first of all, we need to read value from the sensor. For that we will need some floats because LM35 will give us value in float which will be more accurate. We write temp and we cannot display the float directly on the LCD so we use another command called oh sorry we need a char a string we make it temp 1 and 6 so this string can store up to 7 digits so that will be more than enough and we also need to convert our temperature to Celsius because directly we are not getting Celsius so we also uh, take a Celsius integer as well. Now first of all we receive value read value from the sensor. For that write temp which will store the value equal to ADC read from channel 0. Now why I use 0? The reason behind is that go back to Proteus here you can see that I am using this pin that is pin number A0. In case I was using A1 then I was to write 1 here. So I am using channel number 0 so I write 0. Now give, uh, sorry, give initialization delay, 50 will be enough. Okay, now we need to convert, convert the red value to Celsius. For that purpose, we write, use this variable Celsius right here. Celsius is equal to, first of all, we multiply the received value with the applied voltage. I am applying 5.0 volt. So if you are using 3.3 volt supply then you have to give 3.3 it is the value it, the it is the voltage you are giving to the sensor i am giving 5 volt v ref is 5 volt that is the reference voltage now divided by the resolution of the pic that is 1024 like this close it in the bracket and multiply the whole value with the 100 to make it celsius now this will convert the received temperature or received ADC value to the Celsius that we want to display on the screen. Now since Celsius is also a float, we need to convert it to a string to display it on the LCD. For that purpose use the command float to str Celsius to the one we are using here is temp1. This temp1 is our char temp1. Now give some initialization delay. Whatever is in the Celsius will be converted, will be stored in this temp1 string in the form of string. It will be converted to string, float to string. Now display it on the LCD, write down LCD out, start writing from first row, first column. What we should write? We should first of all write as shown in the presentation, temp is equal to, it will display a string that temp temperature is equal to give some initialize uh, do not we do not need any delay here now from first row first column write this these are total give some one two three four five six seven seven characters so it means we should start writing or a microcontroller should display the value from first row we take it ninth column it will ri start writing the temperature from the ninth column and then we have to display the C. So this is our temperature. Whatever is in this, temp is equal to will be displayed the temperature. And then LCD will display a C. It means Celsius. So we write C. And that will be the last digit, 16. So it will display this. And then it will display Celsius, which is converted to a temp1 m1 is the string form of celsius so it will be displayed and then a c will be displayed to show that it is a celsius now give some initialization delay 100 will be enough now click on build let's see what happens are there any errors or not okay it's built successfully now we go to proteus double click on your pic 16 fa 7 a select your crystal frequency we are using 16 megahertz click on this button 
and you select the hex file where you had built this hex file you have to import the hex file there we go i just stored it here wherever you store the file you have to go to that folder click on ok now click on run let's see what happens ok it shows 27 and our screen shows 27.343 because we are using float and this is more accurate and this is good now we go low we go to 22 and let's go here 21.972 that is nearly if you round it off it will become 22 now I make it more low okay it's 17 17.089 17 that's correct that's exactly the one we need now we go up okay it will be like I make it 30 now let's go here okay it's exactly 30.273 if you round it off it becomes 30 so guys this is how you interface an LM35 with the pic 16 f 7 a display values on the screen so this is a very good project a mini project thank you very much for your time and interest in my channel I will also share the links of how to set it up on the hardware and uh, how easy it is to connect LM35 and LCD I will also share the link of the video in which I told you how to connect this LCD on the hardware as well. So thank you very much and have a nice day.